Good morning, dear friends. Um, my oldest son from Texas is about less than a couple hours away now, him and his family, and we'll be here for this week, and so thankful to have all my children under one roof. But before all that busyness happens, I thought I would just share a little reflecting that I've been doing, and I don't plan for it to go long, and I have nothing planned out to say. Don't really have any scriptures right down or anything, but, you know, sometimes I go back and watch some of my old videos, and 90% of what is stored on YouTube is private um, over the past a little over two years, it's private, and it's just my honest, real talk between me and the Lord, a record so that I can look back and see, see what the Lord's teaching me, see how faithful He's been to me, and see how He's changed my mind, and that's a big thing, that as we walk with the Lord and get to know Him more, our thinking will change. You know, we've got certain mindsets and beliefs in our mind, whether it be from things we come up with and learned or our way of seeing things, even our way of interpreting the scriptures. And it's not failed yet that whatever way I thought that I understood and looked at something, the Lord has changed it. And it's something that I would encourage anybody to ask the Lord for is to give me an open mind and an open heart that even my very thoughts I bring to you, Lord, for you to change if they're not right, you know? Because he does. We're being renewed in our minds daily by the Spirit and... That's something I was noticing when I look back on some of my videos and some that I shared publicly. I can see that my desires were being changed and the way I behaved was changing. The way I acted, spoke, the way I thought was being changed from before I knew the Lord. I was growing in Him and maturing learning, being corrected and disciplined, being taught hard lessons. But the hardest of lessons have come lately because not too long ago, the Lord showed me something in the scriptures that just turned my world upside down. And it's like everything I had learned, well, I had to start from scratch again, depending on him to teach me. But what I must speak about is the only thing I know. And if it could help anybody to think about, you know, only by the Lord's will would that happen. But it is true. We are growing to be more and more like the Lord in integrity and a brightness and things like that, but if you can think about it, if you can just imagine it in your mind, it's not that we grow higher and higher and higher and more and more and more important. Though we are growing closer with the Lord, for me, it's been a progression downward lately. Humbling. Because as I was in my mind growing closer with the Lord and feeling like I was more and more righteous, you know, and for mothers looking in, maybe so. Maybe I wasn't messing up as much or, you know, maybe I was being more gentle and kind and all these things. But 
the Lord has allowed me these past few months to remember what it was like to be without him. Because it's been a long time since I've had to feel that way. It's been a long time since I haven't had a hope in this world. And it's been a long time since I felt like I've struggled and wrestled with sin. Um, it's been a long time since I felt like I was alone in this world and I had no one on my side, no one to lead me and guide me and forgive me or that I could confess my sin to and be bare and exposed and naked before. It's been a long time. And just through the Lord's way of doing it, He has allowed me to experience those things once again. That I don't need to go into detail about, but in my mind. And it has humbled me. It's brought me low and desperate, needy, poor, and it's like he's opened my eyes to be able to see all these people around me and what they're going through in the innermost of their heart and mind. What they feel. And it's terrible. It's awful, y'all. And I don't know how long he will have me to stay in this place. But I do... I remember him saying that it's not about becoming great, the greatest in the kingdom, and about all this wisdom and knowledge and all this, but it's about being low, and it's about serving. You know, it's about compassion and mercy. It's about loving others as yourself, treating others the way you'd want to be treated and things like that. And I don't know. Don't even know really why I'm sharing this, but I just wanted to share it for some reason. Might be just that we would keep our minds and hearts open to the Lord for Him to teach us and show us whatever it is that He wants to. To be all right with that maybe I haven't understood everything correctly and allow Him to change whatever it is He wants to change. Things like that. So, I love y'all and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.